Is this our season four no. for me? We're getting close. We're getting close to the end. Happy <laughs> end of season three. Happy Canadian talent. Speaking of Canadian talent, we have a doozy today. Yeah. She was second city. Theater sports. So she um, did one woman play for the Edmonton Fringe. My boyfriend's back and there's going to be laundry. Right. The next one is my boyfriend's back and there's going to be laundry too. The cycle continues. The third one was Wedding Bell Hell. She's been nominated for a Governor General Award. Yes. And Stephen Leacock Award. Oh, she won an Order of Ontario. A Gemini Award. For Best for Performance in Comedy. Through Adrian Clarkson, I believe. It's Sandra Shamas. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Hello. I'm here now. That room oh, looks yeah. incredible. This is my kitchen. The kitchen is a log cabin. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's I love sure. my life. What brought you to Toronto in the first place? It was the place to be. I got a job in a law firm as a receptionist. Answering phones, smoking camels. You're doing that. What made you go to an improv class? I needed a job and Second City was hiring. I went there and I said, I'm here to apply. And she gave me this little card. So I filled out the card. How much is the pay? And she said, for what? This is for the oh. improv class. You want to be a waitress? And I went, yeah. They never called me for the waitress thing. They called and said, we have a space for you if you want to take this class. And that's when I discovered that I was part of something that I didn't know existed. I took every class that I could possibly take. I was just absolutely devoted to it. When I had a chance to become part of the touring company, I said, yeah. But when they disbanded that touring company, I knew I could never go back to becoming a smoking receptionist at a law firm. <laughs> My 29th birthday, I was in New York and I was gifted tickets to see Lily Tomlin search for intelligence signs of life in the universe. What I saw was a woman alone. And as I sat there, even in my naivete at the age of 29, I said to myself, I could do that. I applied to the Fringe Festival in Edmonton, which was the only festival in Canada. I had the title, My Boyfriend's Back and There's Gonna Be Laundry. I didn't have the show. I wrote it on the plane. Oh, wait a second, you wait, wrote it wait. on the plane to Edmonton? Here's a short clip. He will see that the shirt is not at his house. He will know it is here, so he will come and get it. And then he will see that I ironed it and he'll say, oh, Sandra, I should never have left you. <laughs> <laughs> because you're such a good ironer. <laughs> oh my God, thank you for that. I love that girl. I want to go hug her. God bless, you little thing, you with the shorts in the 80s. <laughs> you did three shows. Of the Boyfriend's Back trilogy? Yeah. Ah, there it is. There's uh, that's the first trilogy. Ah, oh, there's Wits End. Yeah. Oh, you're quick on that. Look at you, how <laughs> talented you are. So the Wits End trilogy started with the divorce, and I moved out to the farm. Me, city girl, never living in the middle of nowhere ever, and everything that I saw and everything that I was affected by. Look at this. Oh my God, <laughs> that's my tractor. I run her everywhere if I could. And does she have a name? Emerson. Oh. She is named for the family who owned her first. We're, we're over time, we have to go. I am you going, I don't go. care where you go. I am going. <laughs> Thank you Thank for you. inviting me. I really Thank appreciate you. it. I am waving. Take care. <laughs> so I guess you can see that, yeah, okay. I just love it. She's like, and then I wrote it on the plane. She knew How what she bold. wanted and then she wrote it on the plane and then she had this big hit. I think all three of our faces when she said that just went like, comment, share, share. subscribe.